find the middle term of the sequence formed by all the three digit numbers which leave a remainder 3 when divided by 4. See, first three digit number is 100 and the last three digit number is like 999. So, the numbers which are divisible by 4, see, 4 times 25, you will get like 100. It is exactly divisible. And here, 4 times with 4 if I divide 4 times 2 8 19 4 times 4 16 39 4 times 9 36 so the remainder is here 3 so from 999 if I will take out 3 I will get a number 996 which is exactly divisible by 4. Here 100 is exactly divisible by 4. But we need a number which is divisible by 3 and leaves remainder 3. Exactly divisible by 4 and leaves remainder 3. So what we will do add 3 here. So first number is 3 digit number which is divisible by 4 and leaves remainder 3 is 103. And the last number will be like if I will add plus 3. It will be 999. So here the series is first number is 103. 103. Next just divisible by 4. So next add 4 to this. So 107. 111. So on. The last number is 999. So this is the series. So, which are divisible by 4 and leaves the remainder 3. In this way, I got the series here now. Now here, first term is 103 and common difference is 4. So, I will write first term 109, 103. So, here A is 103 and common difference A2 minus A1. 107 minus 103 which is nothing but 4. See we need to find the middle term. So first we need to know like how many terms we have in the term. So here a n a n equals last term we have 999. So a n formula is a plus n minus 1 into d is 999. So, if we we'll substitute the values, the value of A is 103 plus N minus 1 into D. D is 4 equals 999. So, if we we'll simplify further, 103 plus 4N minus 4 is 999. 103 minus 4 is 99 plus 4n equals 999. So, 4n equals here 999 minus 99. So, you will get here 4n equals 900. 4n equals 900. So, 900 by 4 is 225. So, n equals 900 by 4 which is 225. So, there are 225 points. So, n value is 225 which is nothing but odd number. So, if there are number of terms are odd then the middle term is middle term see same thing we'll do like when we'll find median in statistics like for raw data so middle term formula is if it is odd number of observation n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 so here the middle observation will be 
मिडिल टर्म विल बी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन बाय टू सो दैट इज टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाय टू वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन सो मिडिल टर्म इज वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन सो टी ए वन थर्टीन ए वन थर्टीन इज द मिडिल टर्म सो ए वन थर्टीन वी नीड टू फाइंड सो ए प्लस वन ट्वेल्व डी ए प्लस वन ट्वेल्व D. So the middle term is a one hundred and thirteenth term. So a is here one or three plus one twelve times d. D value is here four. D is four. So one hundred and three plus four hundred and forty eight. One twelve times four is four hundred and forty eight. So four forty eight plus one or three. Four forty-eight plus one or three is five fifty-one. So five fifty-one is the middle term. When the numbers are divisible by four and leaves the remainder three, three-digit numbers. Now see here another question is there. That is also find the sum of all the numbers on both sides of the middle term. So middle term is one twelve. So we need to find sum of All the terms before one thirteen, before one thirteenth term, and after one thirteenth term, right? because total are like two twenty five terms. So here, so here we have the series like, see if we see this term, you have a one, a two, so on, a one thirteen. So on last term is a two twenty five, two twenty five, but they are asking to add the terms before the middle term means till here. So before that, what will be the last term like a one twelve, and after the middle term means from here. So here, what will be the first term a one hundred and fourteen. So first term is a one hundred and fourteen. And here last term is a two twenty five, so we can do that. And see before total are two twenty five terms. So here we have how many terms? One hundred and twelve terms. Here also you have one hundred and twelve terms. So first I'll find this s one hundred and twelve for this. So s one hundred and twelve terms. So S N formula is. S N formula n by two times a plus two a plus n minus one into d. Okay, two a plus n minus one into d. So in this way you can simplify. You can do the other method also. If you calculate a twelfth term, then you can do n by two into a plus l. So here n is one hundred and twelve. One hundred and twelve by two, two a, a is in this series the a is here. First term is one hundred and three, two times one or three, plus one hundred and twelve minus one times d is four. So here one twelve by two is fifty six, two times one or three is two hundred and six, plus. Here one eleven times four, so fifty six into two hundred and six plus four hundred and forty four, so two hundred and six plus four forty four is six fifty, so six hundred and fifty, six hundred and fifty into fifty six is thirty six thousand. Four hundred. See, this is sum of all the terms on the left side of the middle term. Left side. Now we need to calculate sum of all the terms on the right side. So see, there are two methods. Here, what I'll, you can do is you can calculate all the sum of two twenty-five terms. Like, so you can calculate total sum of two twenty-five terms, and from that you can take out the middle one thirteen. 
terms see calculate sum of all and from that take out 113 terms sum of 113 terms so directly you will get this one so last one or otherwise you can calculate 114th term okay you can do it again in that way so first i'll write here sum of terms on the right side sum of terms on the right side so i'll find all s225 minus s113 so s225 the formula is n by 2 so 225 by 2 2 times a a is same 103 plus n minus 1 225 minus 1 into d which is 4 again 113 by 2 2a two a is 103 plus 113 minus 1 times 4 so here you will get like 225 by 2 by 206 225 minus 1 which is 225 minus 1 is 224 into 4 896 so here you will get like 896 minus 113 by 2 and here 2 2 into 103 that is 206 plus 112 113 minus 1 is 112 times 4 which is 448 448 so now if you we'll simplify this further I'll do it here So 225 by 2 as it is 225 by 2 so now 206 plus 896 is 1102 so if you'll cancel see this if you'll divide by 2 you'll get 551 so 2 times 1 2 times 551 so if you'll simplify this further so 551 times 225 so you'll get 1 like 23975 minus 113 by 2 into here see 206 plus 448 that is 654 so if you'll cancel this 654 if you'll divide by 2 We'll cancel this by 2 we'll get 327 327 so 113 times 327 is 36951 now if you'll we'll subtract this from 123975 you'll get 87000 87024 so this is the answer for the sum of all the terms on the right side. So this is on the right side. Now you can do this right side term you can do in another way. So just calculate 114th term. 114th term is A114 is A plus 113D. A is 103. So, A is 103 plus 113 into 4. So, 103 plus 452. 103 plus 452. So, 452 plus 103 is 555. So, this term, 114th term is 555. 555 will be your first term 555 if you'll add 5 4 559 like that so from here again you need to do s 112 because last also we have 112 terms so s 112 see actually problem is done here this is sum of all the terms on the right side 
and this is sum of all the terms on the left side but right side we can do in another way so s12 n by 2 112 by 2 into 2a now a is 555 plus 112 minus 1 into 4 56 times so see 555 into 2 if you do 555 into 2 you'll get 1110 plus 111 into 4 is 444 so plus 444 if you do so you'll get here 56 into 1554 that if you multiply with 56 you'll get the same answer 87024 this is sum of the terms on the right side of the middle term this is sum of the terms on the left side of the middle term this is sum of the terms on the right side of the middle term important problem because this question they ask in like cbc boards in 2015